Fear not, Scranton. This is Pastor Elliot Cook from Jackson Street Baptist Church here on the west side of Scranton, Pennsylvania, the greatest city in Pennsylvania. Just wanted to encourage you with some words of hope and a message from the Lord. It's found in Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 1. Uh, I don't know what type of person you are. I like to think that there are two different types of people in this world. Some who just take off on a road trip and plan it, uh, just want to have an adventure. They don't plan it and they have no um, uh, reservations and they just head out. We'll find a place, right? And then there are those who plan ahead and get their reservations made ahead of time. Well, apparently Mary and Joseph were uh, spontaneous, shall we say. Uh, you know this, uh, the reason why I'm thinking of it is Christmas in July. I know it's August, but perhaps you missed July's Christmas. And just want to take you to this passage in Luke chapter 2. Uh, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that the census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from there, from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged uh, to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married with him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Well, again, they set out, perhaps not thinking ahead, not sending word, not making a reservation. I don't think they necessarily had that type of system back then, but they may have had relatives in and around the area and could have made plans to stay with them, send word, through trade. Um, well, they didn't. Um, I've been in that situation, just taken off and uh, get to a place that you think is open and it's not, and uh, or they're full and you can't get a room and you're just driving around late at night, 2 a.m., looking for a place just to crash and then finally finding one. And it's not to your liking, but it's the only place available, so you go there. God bless my family. I've done that a few times to them. I've also worked ahead of time to make sure that you have that reservation. And um, it's a little less stressful. Um, sometimes um, it's not as adventurous and you feel a little constraint. What type of person are you? Do you like to plan and have that reservation made? Or are you somebody who who uh, likes to fly by the seat of your pants? Just let me know down below. I, I want to know. I've been in both camps. I've done it both ways. I don't know which I... I there's something romantic about just taking off and uh, letting the Lord provide, isn't there? And, but there's also something to be said for making sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's, especially when family's involved, children, etc. Maybe you're responsible for a, a group of people and uh, you want to make sure that it's a pleasant experience and so you work ahead of time and make those reservations. Um, there's a number of things in this passage that of course are miraculous. Uh, this is the Virgin uh, Mary and Joseph are not married. They're only engaged at this point, And she gives birth to her firstborn. Jesus was the firstborn uh, son um, of Mary. There were others born to Mary and Joseph. And uh, he, Jesus has brothers and sisters. Uh, you can read about this in the scriptures. Don't want to um, um, surprise any of you, but uh, you should know that. Uh, a lot of people believe that they may have been Joseph's from a previous marriage, and maybe that's so. I don't know if he was previously married and how many um, children he had uh, by various means, but I do know that Mary's firstborn was Jesus because she was a virgin. And uh, God did all this just to get the Messiah to be born in Bethlehem. Uh, he, he orchestrated... Uh, Caesar Augustus to issue this decree to, to move the parents 
of uh, this Messiah out of Nazareth so that the prophecy could be fulfilled that he would be born in Bethlehem. Now the prophecy could have said that he would be born in Nazareth, but um, the house of David, uh, Bethlehem, uh, his hometown, uh, is supposed to produce the Messiah. And so it would be important that Jesus be born in, in Bethlehem. And, and God saw it fit that both uh, Joseph and Mary were of the lineage of David, and he moved them from Nazareth back to their hometown just so, so that the prophecy could be fulfilled. And uh, God works in, in miraculous ways. And sometimes when we are flying by the seat of our pants, he orchestrates uh, things uh, in a special way for us so that we can have those divine appointments. And miraculously, he does provide for us and care for us. I, I pray that, that you have that sense of adventure at some time in your life, but you also uh, have the joy of uh, security and knowing that the reservation's made ahead of time. I said that there are two different types of people in this world. Well, I gotta tell you, there's one trip coming up that you wanna have your reservations for, because if you're refused at the gates uh, and can't get in, it's sort of like this COVID crisis. If you're planning on, on going to Disney and you just show up down there, um, without making reservations, you might be sadly disappointed to find out that the park's closed or that they're only allowing those who have pre-registered into the park or that the lodging in the entire uh, city is, is shut down because of COVID, things like that. You, you would hate to have that happen, to spend the money on airfare, to get there, to rent the car and you go and lo and behold, there's nothing available for you. That would be horrific. Well, the same is true of the gates of heaven. You know, you have that opportunity to, to make your reservation now and uh, make sure that the gates will be open to you, that you have a place. Uh, you won't have that opportunity after you die. It's what you choose in this life about Jesus that gains you entrance. For salvation is found in no one else, for there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I implore you to embrace Christ so that you can have that reservation made and the gates of heaven will open to you one day and you'll have eternal life. Well, I know we were focused on the Christmas story, but perhaps your need might be to make that reservation and glory in heaven to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross for your sin. Jesus, he loves us so much. And uh, perhaps you've heard these messages before. You've heard me go on. And maybe now you're finally ready to embrace uh, Jesus and to put your faith in him and ask for forgiveness, to repent of your sins. Won't you pray this prayer uh, in your heart to God and he'll hear you. Father God, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that uh, you love me and you sent your only son, Jesus, to die for me. I believe this and ask for forgiveness. I've done many things wrong. I have said things, done things, left things undone, thought things. I'm such a mess and I'm in such dire straits. I repent and ask for your forgiveness. Come into my heart and life, make me a new creature and help me to live differently from this day forward. I am yours. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You prayed that prayer? Let us know about that as well. We'd love to know uh, that these videos are, are planting seeds, answering questions. Uh, you have questions about the passage that I just read? Let us know. You know, if you need a Bible, let us know. You want to be baptized. Uh, we have services here at, at church at Jackson Street Baptist. That's 1206 Jackson Street here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And we are meeting. Uh, we're socially distanced. We have sanitizing stations. We're not having nursery or junior church or welcome room. We're we only sing one stanza of one hymn when we're all ready to leave. You know, we're wearing our masks, etc. We're doing what we can to stay safe during this time of quarantine. And uh, we miss a lot of you regulars that I know are, are checking us out online, even daily and, and every Sunday. Um, do want to remind you it's important to engage. 
let us know if you're watching these daily messages, the Sunday messages. It's important for us to, to try and keep track of, of who's engaging and who, who may be at risk uh, drifting off out of fellowship for months now, right? And uh, we're praying for you. We're praying for a cure. We're praying for all the various needs that come into us. You have a prayer need? Let us know down below. Check out all my messages on hashtag Fear Not Scranton, and you'll find out uh, that there are over 100 to choose from, and you have the opportunity um, to peruse them and, and get to know our church a little bit better and plan a visit. You know, this Christmas is going to be a joyous celebration when we come out of quarantine uh, to celebrate Jesus' birth, right? And uh, it's never a wrong season to, to remember God's precious gift to us all, um, his son, forgiveness, eternal life. Well, fear not, Scranton. This is Pastor Elliot Cook signing off from Jackson Street Baptist Church. We'll see you tomorrow.